Hi everyone, welcome back to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing another video about a football league ground, a historic ground. And today I'll be talking about Fratton Park, the home ground of Portsmouth Football Club. So I will be detailing the history of the ground, some things that have happened there, and just an overall historic view of Fratton Park. Portsmouth were founded on the 5th of April 1898 and they've been playing at Fratton Park since 1899. The football ground was formerly the site of a potato field in 1898 when it was purchased by the newly formed Portsmouth Football and Athletic Club which was formed on the 5th of April 1898. It was led by a consortium of local businessmen and ex-British army officers whose chairman was Sir John Brickwood the owner of Brickwood's Brewery. Fratton Park was designed and completed during 1899 by local architect Arthur Cogswell and was first opened to the public on the 15th of August 1899. The first match to be played at Fratton Park was a friendly match against Southampton and I use that term loosely. It was played on the 6th of September 1899 with Portsmouth winning two goals to nil. The first competitive match to be played at Fratton Park came three days later on the 9th of September when they played in the Southern League Division 1 against Redden. Portsmouth also won that match two goals to nil. In 1905, an ambitious Portsmouth greatly expanded Fratton Park by the addition of a mock Tudor style club pavilion to the southwest corner in Frogmore Road a pavilion designed by architect Arthur Cogswell. The pavilion originally featured a tall octagonal clock tower spire on its northeast corner with an upper viewing gallery built beneath it giving an obscured view of the entire Fratton Park pitch. After winning promotion to the Football League proper in 1920, the original southern side grandstand was replaced in 1925 with a larger south stand designed by famous Scottish architect Archibald Leach. The pavilion's clock tower was demolished as the south stand was partially built in the pavilion's footprint and actually still contains most of the pavilion's original east side within it. Ten year later in 1935, Archibald Leach also designed a larger north stand for Fratton Park. On the 22nd of February 1956, Fratton Park became the first English football ground to stage an evening football league match under artificial light against Newcastle United. The original floodlights positioned at opposite ends of the top of Fratton Park's South Stand and North Stand roofs were replaced in 1962 by floodlight tower pylons in each of the four corners of the ground. Fratton Park became an all-seated football ground in 1996 when all terraces were fitted with blue plastic seats which greatly reduced Fratton Park's previous maximum capacity. Despite its Fratton Park name, Portsmouth football ground is not located in the Fratton area of Portsmouth. Instead, it was built in Milton. Fratton Park is actually named after the nearby Fratton railway station and not the geographic area of Fratton. This peculiar misnaming has caused many of Portsmouth's residents and football fans to incorrectly assume that Fratton Park is located in Fratton and not in Milton. Unlike other football league grounds, the stands at Fratton Park are quite old. The oldest of all is the Milton Len, which was opened in 1905. That was followed by the South Stand, which was opened in 1925. The North Stand was opened in 1935. And the Fratton End is the youngest of all of them that was opened on the 31st of October 1997. Another famous structure at the ground is actually located outside of the stadium and that is the pub which was known as the Pompey. It was opened in 1900, unfortunately it closed in 1988 but the premises was purchased by Portsmouth who then converted the building into a club souvenir and merchandise shop. Fratton Park hosted one full England international match 
on the 2nd of March 1903 against Wales and it's also hosted some England under 21 internationals. The stadium's record attendance is 51,385 for an FA Cup quarter final match against Derby County on the 26th of February 1949, which Portsmouth won two goals to one. The largest ever win at Fratton Park came on the 9th of April 1927 when Portsmouth defeated Notts County nine goals to one in their successful 1926 1927 Football League Division 2 season. Portsmouth's worst ever loss at the ground was 5 0, and that's been recorded three times in 1937 against Tottenham Hotspur in the FA Cup. They also lost against Birmingham City 5 0 in 1955, and lastly in the, in the Premier League in 2010, they were beaten by Chelsea 5 goals to 0 at Fratton Park. Also on the 29th of September 2007, Portsmouth defeated Redden 7 goals to 4 in the Premier League. This match is notable as the highest scoring match in Premier League history. Another interesting piece of trivia, Portsmouth's arch rival Southampton were briefly forced to switch home matches to Fratton Park during World War II when a German Luftwaffe bomb was dropped and hit their home ground of the Dell. In its heyday, Fratton Park could host up to 50,000 spectators, but these days the ground only holds 20,899 and Portsmouth currently play in League One. So that concludes my video on Fratton Park, the home of Portsmouth Football Club for well over 120 years. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did let me know in the comment section below. If you're a Portsmouth fan, let me know your favourite memories of this ground. If you're an away supporter, let me know your memories of coming to Fratton Park. But anyways, this has been History of Football, and I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, tatty bye for now.